beauties. <laughs> welcome and welcome back to yet another video, my people. Okay, so this is the undiluted baby mama. Okay, <laughs> and movable and shakeable. Okay. I am here today to just say hi to you guys and it's a normal day it's 12th of january 2021 yeah and <laughs> as you can see we are in the kitchen our day normally starts here and ends here and um, my personal assistance is just somewhere on the floor because you know me i'm very tall <laughs> Yeah, so my personal assistant and I are planning to go and see Dinah, my friend. She's not feeling fine. And yeah, so we are in the kitchen trying to pack one or two milk, packets of milk and packets of Weetabix and uh, the lights because she doesn't have a small baby. And if you have a small baby and you're going out, it's upon you to now see what and what not to carry for your baby because if you do not, now you go here and for body, you go feel and for body. You know, when you feel and for body, you go understand yourself. <laughs> so I don't have to read there and begin to understand myself. I just want to totally pack my packages, you understand? So that when I finish packaging my packages, then yeah. So I quickly said, let me just quickly come and do this video. And this video is about some British or some English words or some American words I stopped using and replaced with pigeon ever since I got married to a Nigerian man. <laughs> okay, so there are some uh, there are some words. There are some words I used to use before. Words like um, what's like, come, let's gossip, you know, I have a gossip I want to tell you. So these days I don't say gossip no more. I say I got gist for you. <laughs> I got gist for you. Gist me. What happened? You know, like gossip with me. I want to know, like, pump my brain. Let me know what's up, what's up, okay? There are some words I used to use like problem. I don't want to use problem no more. I say I don't want your wahala. I don't want your problem. I don't want your wahala, okay? Too much wahala. Those people get too much wahala. They are not the kind of friends I like to keep. <laughs> Baby mama is graduating one by one, one by one. By the way, some people think I'm Nigeria. See, I am not Nigeria. Eh? Baby mama has never been Nigeria, no? but I've been taking in some Nigeria blood for almost four years now. <laughs> okay? So those are some of the words I've been using and and many more that I can't even remember. But you know they're just making me feel uh, happy. You know, it, it makes me feel like okay, so I can gossip you without you knowing I'm gossiping. I'm not say come on. <laughs> gossip. I'll say just me. I can say I don't want your problem or I don't want your trouble without you knowing I'm saying I don't want your trouble. I'll say like I don't want to holler, you know. Yeah, some words like uh, listen to me very good or listen to me keenly. I normally don't do that. These days I say listen to me well, well. <laughs> I say listen to me well, well. You know, like listen to me carefully, listen to me keenly. Don't allow me repeat myself. You know, some things like um, what's the word? Yeah, like even what I just said now, like listen to me carefully so that you get everything I want to say. You know, you 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 you, you find yourself I don't know, I feel like pigeon sounds more rude. <laughs> yeah, I feel like pigeon sounds more rude, though it's not as if it's actually rude. It, it just sounds more rude in some ways. Because if you tell someone listen to me well where, you know. It sounds more of you people have quarreled already. When in the real sense, you people haven't quarreled. <laughs> you know, so there are many, many things. You just uh, find yourself saying like, um, uh, like, um, mekuna call me, you know, something like you people should please give me a call or 
call me back or something. Make me call me or like you know. And another thing, I just find myself uh, using o o o in a lot of things. Sometimes I don't even try using it. I will find myself using it. Like call me back or make me call me or what do they do now? You know. <laughs> and something like <laughs> I used to say before something like like now I say what do they do you. But I used to say, what is wrong with you? So I no longer say, what is wrong with you? I find myself saying, what did they do you? Because that is what my husband is all about. It's all about, what did they do you? What did they do you? You know? Uh, now I find myself saying, what did you define? What did you define? You know? Instead of asking somebody, what are you looking for? <laughs> I find myself saying, what did you define? What you can't find, eh? like what are you looking for? Like what have you come to look for? Or what are you searching for? You see, so it's just me replacing the words, you know, here and there, I'm just dropping it, dropping it, dropping it, dropping it. <laughs> so guys, I, you know, sometimes I feel like pigeon is interesting and sometimes my people don't understand how I talk pigeon like I am one of them, like I am one of those people, you know, like I am one of <laughs> our Nigerian brothers, they don't understand. But if you ask me, I think is the environment you stay in and the people you relate to most times really, really matters a lot because even if you take a child to school, if he finds people talking vernacular in school, the child will come back home talking vernacular. It's just like... If you take a, 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 a sponge and you drop it inside the water, it's prone to draw the water inside and carry it, you know. If you take a, let me use a layman's language, if you take a mattress, some people say mattress, some people say mattress, like Nigeria brothers, we say mattress, Kenya women, we say mattress. If you take mattress and put it inside the water, it's going to draw the water. So that is just it. That is what happened to baby mama, okay? Like, when you associate yourself with those people a lot, you just find yourself talking what they talk. Because that is what they talk. Like, if you talk differently, you are attracting attention. So for you not to attract attention, baby, you got to do what they are doing. If you go to Rome, do what Romans are doing, baby. Are you finding yourself sailing well, well? <laughs> yeah, and many more. Like, you know, you just find yourself, um, like if you say you're going somewhere and uh, you took long and uh, someone asked you why you took long, you find yourself saying uh, there was a queue. There was a queue. Because they are used to calling when people are arranging themselves in a long line, waiting, waiting for their turn to be attended to. They don't say there was a long line at the hospital. There was a long line at the clinic. You said there was a queue. There was a queue at the clinic. So I was still queuing. So that's why, you know. So those are some interesting uh, uh, developments that have happened in my life, rather. And I thought, let me come and just you people. Hey, let me come on just you guys. Let me come on tell you the chelly chelly of the chelly. <laughs> let me come on chelly chelly people the chelly chelly of the chelly. What has been happening in my life lately? Okay. So in case you're here for the first time, you are welcome. Please subscribe to this channel and turn on your bell for me. And if you're an oldie or a returnee, <laughs> you are welcome. I just yeah, I just love you guys and you guys. I could just leave this house with this hair without doing a video for you guys. This hair can't go to waste now. Eh? It's a wig. Okay, it can't go to waste. <laughs> this is my Nigeria Humor Hair Wig that my husband bought for me. So I just thought, let me come and show you people. So that when you next you see me with pushback lines, don't think that baby mama is always walking around in that kind of hair. Sometimes. I can't change sometimes. <laughs> I can't transform. <laughs> sometimes I undergo transformation. That's why I say that I'm your unshakable and diluted and movable and touchable and reachable baby doll. Mm? 
I am baby Toro, I am baby mama, I am a diluted, I am a shaky, I am a movable, I am a touchable, I am a, you know, I am just, all those titles are for me. Don't drag it. I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.